You know what that forecast says? That forecast says, you better grill some steak tonight. <laughs> and the man who knows steak is Jerry Manley. Mm -hmm. You made the best steak. I do like my steak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you had some help, one. though. Pardon me? You had some help, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, out there with the, the um, Spencer Port guys. They came into their little drive through place out in uh, Greece. It's beautiful. Nice. The Texas barbecue joint. I love it. That and you show us how to do it, right? Yeah, I did some cooking, finally, which is cool. Yeah. yeah. Hot day, hot oh, steak. Oh, hot. 10 in the morning. Hot Ooh. grill. Yeah. Charcoal. Hot, hot guy. Hot guy. <laughs> you want to see that hot guy in action? Yeah, there was this baby. homemade grilled garden relish, too. Right, awesome. Roll that beautiful steak footage. Good morning, everyone. We're here at the Outlaw Potato Shack, Moose's Joint. Moose, of course, from the Spencer Port, Texas Barbecue Joint. Last week, we, we featured his outlaw potato. Dude, a drive through barbecue, this is what I dream of. This is what dreams are made of, my friend. <laughs> so come on down, enjoy that. Today, what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to cook a steak. One of my favorite cuts of meat is the ribeye, also known locally around here as the Delmonico, OK? And, and I like the marbling. I want to see the fat. Uh, filet mignon, not my cup of tea, you know? The, the, I, I just, to me, it's too lean, no flavor. This, especially when you're barbecuing, the fat drips and you get that flavor. And speaking of barbecuing, my friends, I barbecue only on one thing ever, and that's a Weber with a charcoal grill. Now, I know a lot of people are going, oh, it's just too much time, it's too dirty. I don't get it, because you put the charcoal in, you light it up, and then you go do your food prep. By the time your food prep is done, you're ready to grill. Right? Am that's I right? It. That's it. Yeah. Do you, guys, do you guys do a lot of grilling? Probably not because you get the smoker. You do a lot of smoking. We do smoking, okay. but we do some grilling. We do steaks and you stuff, You can too. actually do a slow smoke with this. I've smoked a turkey in this for like uh, eight hours before. Really, really nice. So anyways, my what I do with steak, I don't mess around with it too much. I salt and pepper it. So I got a little uh, coarse ground uh, pepper and a little uh, kosher salt. And I'm just going to put that on there. You know, you can do the rub thing, but, you know, save the rub for the barbecue. Save it for the ribs like Richard does, you know, the brisket. That's what a good rub is for. For me, a steak, a little salt and pepper, man, and just the steak. That's what I love. So I'm going to put that on there. All right, another little trick I like to do when I barbecue is I'm going to make some garlic bread. I'm going to do this really kind of quick. So what can I do for you? You can see what's going on. You could open up the butter here, put the butter in there, sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan in there, and I'm going to chop up some garlic. So now, chop this up real nice. Now me, huge garlic lover. You cannot put enough garlic on anything for me. Um, maybe I'm afraid of vampires, I don't know. All right, we'll put that in there, mix that up like that. All right, now if you would, slice that the long way in half, slather that on both sides for me. All right, so what we got going here is I'm gonna make a little salsa. All I did was I took in your corn, peeled it back, and I'm roasting that there. I got my jalapeno, a couple of sweet peppers. I'm gonna throw this in the bag, okay? We're gonna close this up, it's gonna steam, and it's gonna like loosen up all that skin for us. We'll let that set for about eh, 20 minutes, a half hour. I wanna grow some pineapple, I wanna bring some sweetness into my salsa. Let me show you how to cut a pineapple. First of all, cut the flat spot here, what there kinda is already. Cut a flat spot here, set the pineapple up like that, and we're just gonna trim off this all the way around. All right, so now I turn this on the side. I'm gonna cut my rings. So today, along with my steaks, I'm gonna throw this right in the grill. Grilled pineapple is beautiful, my friends. Slide this to the side, that to the side. Salt side, pepper side down. Move these out of the way. Our steaks, you can see they're kind of bleeding through on this side. That's perfect time to, car to turn. Look at what the charcoal does. I've got that nice dark crust on there. That is what I look for when I cook a steak. I want that caramelization. Now I'm gonna pull these steaks. I also like to let my steaks rest a little while before I dig into them. So I'm gonna pull both of these off. Richard, in the meantime, is making up that beautiful salsa for us. Throw that right in there, that should be good, man. Now I'm just gonna give this a little toss. So you got your corn, you got your roasted on the grill pineapple, beautiful. You got your sweet peppers, and of course you got the heat from that jalapeno. It's a beautiful thing. Don't be afraid to salt and pepper this as well. You know, the salt is a flavor enhancer that brings out the flavors. Throw that back in like this.
That looks gorgeous. Oh, man. We're going to throw that little bit on top of our steak, off to the side. Dig in, let me know how that is. All right. Cut right down through the middle of that steak so we can see how perfectly cooked that is. Oh. That is a nice medium rare. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. that is perfect grilling. That's how I do a steak on soul plates. That's how everyone should do a steak, my friends. Fat is where it's at with flavor. Make that salsa, got the garlic bread, we're gonna pull that off, and we're gonna feed the crew here and eat. Enjoy your summer. Nice, delicious. Nice. Ah. Makes me hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I like I like maybe a little more well, just a tad uh, more well done. You, so you wanna ruin it? No. Uh, yes. Just slightly, yes. <laughs> slightly. I don't want to look back at me. Oh. I don't, it's, no. looking, it's still looking at One me. One thing they didn't show is that yeah, I put those grilled vegetables in the bag. When yeah. you pull those out after about 10, 15 minutes, then you take that and you rub all that skin right yeah. off. Yeah, it comes and, off And um, don't wash it because right. you get rid of all that really tasty oil. Mm. And then you get a beautiful roasted vegetable. Mm. Perfect. That sounds delicious. Oh, yeah. That that mm. chutney or that chutney, oh. that, that uh, salsa looks grilled delicious. Salsa. Thanks, Jerry.